Teachers, come on, let's talk. If your school district told you that they were reducing or removing your stipend for doing all of your extracurricular activities, you know, debate, student council, department chair, National Honor Society, etc., because sponsoring those activities is just part of being a good person and a good teacher, would you keep doing it? Well, according to one school district in the greater Houston area, you will. Let's get into it. HISD says they will reduce or remove some stipends for those who sponsor extracurriculars. Side note, not that used to chronicle putting a photographer on a job that could actually do this job. Remember that side show that fuckery last week? <laughs> yeah. All right, so HISD officials plan to reduce or remove several stipends for extra work of up to 2500 for district employees next school year. In their compensation plan that they released last week, they outlined the annual base salaries for all of the district employees and the incentives and stipends that they are eligible to earn. They offer stipends for duties that are unrelated to an employee's primary job, such as working days outside of their normal schedule. While many stipends will remain next year, the district no longer lists stipends for several positions, including academic coaches, baby, y'all love them, don't y'all, teacher mentors, speech and debate sponsors, and department chair. Now, Ms. Jessica, who's HISD's chief human resource officer, said, y'all don't need that money, it's just extra fluff. We ain't got time for all of that. Our expectation is that professionals go above and beyond in a high-performance culture. That is the model now at HISD. <laughs> she said there were some habits that were formed in the past about any time someone did anything a little bit extra, they anticipated that a stipend would be created. The district has also removed stipends for sponsoring yearbook, newspaper, student council, or robotics in the NES schools. That's interesting. Teachers earning those stipends in non-NES schools will keep their stipends next year, although some may see their stipends reduced if they are currently making the maximum allowed stipend. The compensation manual was reduced from 130 pages to 27 pages. Again, she stressed that there was too much fluff. Y'all don't get anything extra for doing what you're supposed to do. You're in a high-performance culture, so act like it. The board of managers have to approve it, but they will because they're all, you know. Now, the removal of some stipends means that middle and high school academic coaches who currently work with students after hours to prepare for local and state national academic competitions will not earn an extra $500 to $1,100 during the next school year. The district also no longer lists stipends for speech and debate sponsors or beginning teacher mentors. Middle school debate sponsors currently make a range of $720 to $1,295, while high school speech sponsors make $1,360 to $2,500 a year. Teacher mentors made up to $1,200 extra a year. There are many professionals who just do a little extra in a day. That's the kind of exempt professional expectation that is in our employee value proposition. We're not going to nickel and dime for every time someone does something a little extra. Pause to read. Pause to read. Pause to read. The district offers and will continue to offer stipends to head coaches, assistant coaches, and athletic coordinators in middle and high school, including $10,000 for serving as a head football coach, $8,000 for serving as a head basketball coach, and $7,000 for soccer head coaches in high school. Now, I did not know this. Band, color guard, choir, theater, orchestra, and other fine arts directors and assistant directors in middle and high school will also keep their stipends. In high schools, HISD provides $12,000 stipends to band directors. Okay. $10,000 to orchestra directors and $7,500 to theater directors. But y'all listen, some of the teachers are already in my inbox like, mm -mm -mm, that whole line, that whole line in the article. They've already told us that they are cutting our stipends entirely. Now listen, I don't know about the sponsors of the activities where you guys go to school, but our people that do extra things, they were those kids on the weekends. They transport those kids on the weekends. They are very much so deserving of the stipend that they are getting. So why do some people that stay with kids on the weekends and transport them get stipends and others don't? Why should that just be a little extra that they do? Baby, y'all don't get the hell about HIV and take y'all talents elsewhere? Come on.